everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Divya Giridharan here and welcome to the very first episode of Meet series on my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Meet UG Prep and without any further ado, let's get into today's video. So let's start off with the basics first. Meet UG exam is an all-India pre-medical entrance test for those who wish to pursue their career in either MBBS, BDS or Ayush. This will be an offline test, that is it will be a paper and pen based test. Uh, the number of questions will be 200 but the student is expected to answer 180 questions and the duration for this exam will be 180 minutes which basically gives the student one minute time for one question. The subjects will be biology which will comprise of botany and zoology, chemistry which will comprise of organic, inorganic and physical chemistry and lastly we have physics. Talking about ranking important subjects and weightage, uh, biology will be the major subject here because it comprises of botany and zoology which will have 45 questions each, followed by chemistry and physics which will again have 45 questions each. Biology because it has 90 questions in its bag, it will be the major subject which will help you qualify this exam, followed by chemistry and physics which will help dec decide your percentile. Physics actually plays an important role here simply because, for example, if person A and person B scores the same number of marks, say 600 marks uh, out of 720 respectively. So obviously the two people are not going to get the same rank. So here physics will play a role. The person who has scored a higher mark in physics will get a higher rank. When we talk about important topics, I want to make this clear that the topics that I'm going to share with you right now are based off the previous year question papers. There is no guarantee that if you read these, you're going to top the exam, but you definitely will stand a higher chance of scoring better by doing this. But I would still recommend to do your preparation and to refer to all sorts of materials and question papers possible. Now talking about study materials, I want to say this out loud and clear and that is NCRT, NCRT, NCRT. Don't believe those people who say otherwise. NCRT is your foundation and all the questions that will be asked, if not all, majority of the questions will be asked from topics based off NCRT. This is your foundation and always remember that whatever you build will be built on this very foundation. So if you are thorough with NCRT, if you know in and out any question from any part of this book, then know that you are going to top those exams as well. The biggest secret to my excellent marks in 10th, 12th and entrance exams was the right guidance from my tuition teachers at the right time when I needed them the most. I'm an ex-student of a huge coaching institute that you know of and yes, I was in one of their elite batches. But nothing of that curriculum quite helped me and I found it so difficult to cope. Simply because I understood that I needed attention at an individual level and I realized that only if I understand the concepts, I would become capable of applying them. And to find a tuition teacher at that point was really difficult because exams were approaching faster and I barely had few months for it. Luckily, my family friends had few referrals. But now times have changed and with that, let's talk about Philo app. Philo makes self-study effective. How you would ask? Let me explain. It helps you connect with expert tutors for live one-on-one -on -one interactive learning sessions. Because this is a one-on-one, -on -one, the tutor will help you learn at your own speed and will cater to your requirements, teach you and help you with the topics that you wish to learn. And if you have liked learning from a particular tutor, you can favorite them and learn from them only going forward. This is so useful as you can target your weak subjects first and focus on them rather than sitting through long hours of lecture taught in general for students either in the classroom or in tuitions. This will also make self-study effective and increase your productivity because you will not be spending time on searching for answers online or elsewhere. And the clincher is you get connected within 60 seconds. That is as fast as a phone call. Philo is like a magical genie when you sit down for self-study. If preparing for NEET or JA, this is the perfect tool to get accurate results. You will get instant help. 
For more details, I will leave the link in the description box below to download the app. Please do try it out for yourself. So talking about daily study routines, I would say the earlier you start, the better it is. It just is as simple as that. And if you have at least six months in hand for your preparation, then I would highly recommend you to start with the difficult topics first, simply because it will put you at ease once you've conquered that particular topic. Now, uh, ideally, I would suggest that give two hours to biology every day and one hour to chemistry and physics respectively. Whatever is being taught in school, please refer to that. Only spend the weekdays focusing on your concept and weekends should be only for solving MCQs. As I said, this is going to be a 180 minutes test. So you are going to get barely like one minute for one question. So make sure that you make, you know, utilize that time wisely. For that, you have to start prepping yourself for it from now itself. So now let's discuss about a few tips that I have for you guys. So the first tip that I have for you is to have a formula book for physics. This is a very, very, very important tip because I thoroughly enjoy doing it and uh, I am a person who forgets to, I mean, tends to forget formulas very quickly. So what I used to do is if there is a formula used for a particular thing, I will write down what the topic is, the formula, the units, because units are something that someone can easily get confused with or can forget. So please don't forget to mention the units and then what it is being used for. Every day in the morning uh, after you wake up or before you go to bed, just have a look at those formulas so that you keep refreshing your mind on it. The second tip is to have flashcards for biology. A complete savior, something that I do even today. And I want to make a whole video on that. If you want a video on that, then get this video to 500 likes so that I know you're interested to watch that. So what I do is, uh, for example, if there's a particular species, so write the name of the species in the front of a paper and then behind that paper, write all the important topics corresponding to that species. So the next time you are revising, the moment you look at that species, there should be few points at the, at the tip of your fingers. The third tip that I have for you, time management. Now don't waste your time because every minute is precious in your NEET exam. So I would suggest to finish biology first because bio you're not going to derive anything, you're not going to calculate anything in biology. It's all fact. If you know the answer, take it and you're done with it. That will barely take few seconds. So finish biology first and then move on to chemistry and lastly physics. Because biology and chemistry, if you finish quickly, you can buy a lot of time for physics and at the same time, it will boost your confidence and you'll know that you have already finished a major chunk of the paper. The last tip that I have for you and that is to how to balance boards and entrance exams. It's a very, very, uh, you know, simple tip that many people forget to focus on. And that is, if you know your concept, if you have the proper knowledge, then whether it's boards or entrances, it's not going to matter. Because if you know it, you know it. So what I would recommend is that focus on the topic, make notes, okay? Either make mind maps or just make like proper notes. And uh, pertaining to that particular topic, write down everything. And at the end of it, and uh, at the end of the week, when you prepare for your entrance exams, uh, you have to make sure that whatever has been asked to that particular topic, write it at the end of those notes. So that the next time you're revising, you are revising the entire topic and also those uh, MCQs that are uh, pertaining to that topic. So with this, we come to the end of this video. I really hope this video was useful to you. If it was, then please let me know in the comment section below and please share this video with all your friends or fam friends or family or anyone who you think it will be useful for.